Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Ochareo. This video is about the Odum of Bara e Yopo, that throughout the Patakines, you're going to learn how you can do a bosses to keep the ire or war. But most importantly, is your mindset. Because here, Olofi, he had a beautiful garden, but when he was there, he was hallucinating. So he decided to don't go back to that garden. So this Odum advises you that you need to choose what perfume you're going to use because you can hallucinate with them or also you can get a headache. So you need to choose which one is good for you. Something else, if you are working in a factory, protect yourself because you can get sick. Something that is good in this autumn is the prayers. You are supposed to do some masses in your house. And sometimes when you got a chance, meditate in front of your altar. Something that we don't do frequently in this religion. We have our origin, but we don't pray. We don't sit down in front of them and dedicate time to communicate with the Orishas. This, when you do that, it got to align your spirits with you. Because this is the autumn that there are a lot of cases that you never have been, for example, in some city. And when you get there, you think, hey, I was here before, and it's not you, it's your spirits that they were there before you. So that's why here the meditation is good. Something that you need to know in this old tune is that Obara talk about when the king don't lie. And also a Yoko talk about the justice. So you are not supposed to lie because it could cause you some issues with the justice in life. Why? Because here the truth maker, he had a lot of economic problems in his life, so he didn't know what to do. So he moved to another town, and when he got there, he started to cure people because he had some knowledge about herbs, and he said that he was a doctor. So everyone believed him because they didn't have any doctor around that town. So he became so famous, and everyone go to his house. But one day, the king that was of Batala got sick and call him. As soon the king saw him how he was talking with him and used the different instrument, he said, you are not a doctor. So if you kill me, you're going to save your life. But if you don't kill me, you're going to pay with your head. He got so afraid when Obatala said that. So he decided to let him know the truth. So Obatala told him, because you are so honest, I'm going to give you a gift in order that you can live for the rest of your life. And when he came back to his town, he saw that he had a shoes factory that Obatala provided him with that. So this autumn, I want you that it's important to put some at the music to Obatala. You can offer Obatala, for example, the Sara Echo. You can put a bread with a cocoa bottle. Also, you can make the towel of yam. You can offer fruits, different aladimuses and adimuses to Obatala in order to please him. And Obatala gives you the ire and economy stability that you need in your life. Something else that you can do in this autumn, like a boy, if you offer something for a tomb, for example, the ochinchin, some fruits, sweet pastries for three days with two candles and pray to him. After the three days, you go to take everything and you go to the rivers. Take some barrel with you. And when you get there, pray to Ochun and take as much water as you can in that barrel. So when you go back to your house, you're going to get some herbs. The first one is bitter verse, like for example, Siwaraya, Muraya, Paraiso, Rompe Saraway, Abre Camino. With all of them, you're going to make an umiero. And you go to season it just with rum and cascarilla. And you go to take a bath and you're going to clean the house too. Something that you need to know is that people that live with you, that they take a bath too. Why? Because sometimes, even though you are here, 
you live with someone that is Osobo and it doesn't allow you to keep the ire that you have. The second bath is with El Os o Batala, like Bledo Blanco, Yagruma, eh, eh, Saúco Blanco, Yantén, eh, Algodón, for example, Frescura. With all of them, El Os o Batala, you prepare the bath tube, but you season this one with holy water, with cocoa butter and cascarilla. This is to refresh your spirits. And then the third one is with El Os Ochun, like for example, Amendra, Mango, Naranja, Botón de Oro, Verdolaga. With all of them, you prepare the Umiero and you do the same thing and you will see how you're going to feel better. This is the odum that when you call someone and the person don't respond to you, don't call he again. Because here, Obatala called the monkeys, but they didn't want to go and see Obatala because they were talking badly about him. So Obatala don't call them anymore. So when you have in this situation, leave the people alone. This odum is the odum that you are supposed to receive three orishas. The first one is Babalua Ye for your health because soon or later you're going to need this orisha. My advice to you like Oriate is that when you receive Babalua Ye, receive it with four letters that Babalua Ye speak with you. The second one is Ochozi or the Mata the hunter, because you need this orisha to hunt your enemies, because this is the only one that talk about a lot of enemies around you. And also the ebay to keep you free of the trap in your life. And a bother you can do here with elegua. You take your elegua and you buy three hiohios. And then you're going to take three pieces of brown paper back and you're going to add it each of them a coup a ya, a wado, and three penny. You're going to clean yourself with the three hio hio, and you're going to feed a legua. And then you light one candle. The next day, because you are supposed to do this at night, you're going to take these three packets. One, you're going to leave it by the corner of your house. And the other two, take it from some commercial places. When you come back, take rum and wash a legua just with rum, and pour after that some honey and a pot, and rub it, a legua, and talk to him and blow some smoke or cigar. Or you can take one a wet amico and blow it to you and speak with a legua. And then you want to see the results of this book. Another book that you can do when you want to keep the position that you have at work and you have some issues. You feed a legua with one chicken and then chango with the ayacua that is the total and two roosters for him. When you finish, you make the achesses for chango. With the chicken with a legua, you can just clean yourself and throw it away. But with the two roosters, do the achesses. And then after that, you take this chest and you make powder. And when you make powder, you're going to add some powder or sticks. Like, for example, para mí, rompe saraway, álamo, hobo, ceiba, jala, jala. With this seed stick, you make a powder with the achesses or chango, and you're going to distribute it around the place that you are working and then Chango, he goes to help you with the situation that you have. Thank you all of you for watching. Here you are, another video about the Odum of Bara. Leave your comment below, a like, subscribe to this channel to receive notifications about new videos and live streams. Health, faith, and prosperity. That's what's up. Oh, Chango.